Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to balance this equation where we have H2SO4 and uh, hydroiodine uh, acid on the reactant side and H2SI2 and H2O on the product side. So to start with balancing this equation, it is important to know what kind of equation it is. So this is basically a redox uh, type of equation. So uh, you can check out our other videos to see how we balance other equations as well. So for now this equation we are first going to count the number of atoms on each side of this uh, equation. For a reactant side we have a 2 plus 1 that is 3 hydrogen atoms for the reactant side. For sulfur we have only 1 sulfur atom. For oxygen we have 1 oxygen atom and for iron also we have only 1 oxygen for, for iron also we have only 1 iron atom. All right. Now, if you move forward to uh, the product side, for hydrogen we have uh, four hydrogen atoms because there are two over here and two over there. For sulfur we have one. For oxygen atom we have one, and for iodine we have two. So now this is a quite tricky part because um, none of these are balanced apart from sulfur. So what we got, we are trying to do is first we will try to balance the oxygen over here. So for doing that we are going to multiply this number by four and now we have our oxygen balance because we have four oxygen atoms on both product and reactant side but now this also changes the number of hydrogen atoms so update that so now we have 10 hydrogen atoms and four oxygen atoms okay so that part is done now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, try and balance the iodine atoms on both the sides for product side we have two and on reactant we have one so we are going to uh, put a coefficient two over here and doing that we will uh, get the number two over here and this will also change the number of hydrogen atoms now in such kind of equations the thing is whatever you do you are going to tweak the number of hydrogen atoms but you can always fix it later so now we have uh, four hydrogen atoms and here we have ten so instead of balancing out hydrogen atoms and changing the entire equation on the product side what we are going to do is we are going to change the coefficient here because there we only have to put a coefficient before uh, iodine right so here i am going to put the coefficient 8 and um, i'll try to get the number 10 because here we have 10 hydrogen atoms in product side so we ought to have like 8 hydrogen atoms on the reactant side as well so i'm going to put 8 uh, as in coefficient over here and this will change the number of hydrogen and iodine and now we have same number uh, like we have same number of hydrogen atoms on both the sides but you will also have to make change on the product side because you have to add coefficient 4 before I2 and now you have a balanced equation in which we have 10 hydrogen atoms, 1 sulfur atom, 4 oxygen atoms and 8 iodine atoms on both the sides. So this is how you can balance uh, the equation. Always remember to balance uh, atoms that are lower in number first and then proceed forward to uh, balancing hydrogen atoms at the end. I hope this video helps you to understand on how to balance such equations and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.